What I told you, the average American checked they five. I said five, but then I then I went back and said nah, two to three minutes. Come on now, you're not getting away with that. Nine twenty twenty four. Hell no, we looking at our phones all the time because of people like you. Yeah. What up, what up, what up, YouTube? What up, what up, what up, YouTube? You click the title, you read the page. Some lady bugging out using stolen credit cards for her spa dates. Now, here's the thing. Now, Miss Lady, you know you ain't got no business up in that establishment using somebody else's funds to cater to your needs. Not even needs. I'm lying. Not even needs. That's that's a want. Okay? That is a want. Now, if she was using stolen credit cards to buy some food, I might not even been this upset. Because, listen, you got to survive. But you over here using stolen credit cards just to go to the spa? Oh, Y'all subscribe for the vibe. You want to roll to 7,000 subscribers. So, subscribe for the vibe. One more time, because they didn't hear you. Subscribe for the vibe. Hope you feeling good. Hope you feeling great. Let's get it. Number is allowed. And she bought a gift card for $450. Where's you? I'm doing alright, ma'am. Go ahead and stand up. Stop, I'm stop. Sorry. Don't, don't fight. But I'm sorry. So I I'm weak. Not they call her at the time of laying down getting pimped, but I thought they would have called her like, I don't know, about to do it. And they got her dead at comfortable. I, I don't, I, I honestly I don't you, care. Sorry. In Florida, officers received a phone call from a massage parlor related to a woman who decided she wanted to purchase a three-hour spa session. Although that may seem normal, the woman offered to pay extra for the best masseuse and even included a $450 gift card in her purchase. To make matters worse, she decided she wanted to make her purchase with a stolen credit card. No, to make matters worse is... You know you using a stolen credit card. Why would you book the longest massage? Three hours? You don't think within three hours they going to catch on? The bank going to call? Something going to get charged back? People don't even know how to commit crimes right. And it's just, it pisses me off. Making me smoke. When officers arrived, the credit card owner was on the phone with the massage parlor and he stated that the $650 charge was fraudulent. And the Not the credit card owner, exactly. Like, sure, you in there for three hours. The average American probably checked their phone, what, every five? I would say five, but I would probably say two to three minutes. So, come on, we, we in our phones every... Somebody probably was chilling with their family. Yeah, they, yeah, son, yeah, daughter. Hold on one second. Six hundred and fifty dollars. Spa. Come on now. That they should immediately call the police. She didn't show us the picture. She mm -hmm. just read the numbers aloud. And she bought a gift card for four hundred and fifty dollars. From you guys. And that's the same exact amount that the couple was reporting to us. Uh -huh. Where's you? Yeah. The officer was shown the suspect in question. She appeared to be relaxing, getting a massage all from the stolen credit card. But what? Yo, I'm screaming. Now she appeared to be relaxing. <laughs> Yo, she probably was in there. La, la, la. la, -da 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 -da. Ma'am, chance behind your back. She didn't know is things was about to make a turn when questioned about whose credit card she used. Where's she at? Question for you: Did she show you the picture of the card, or did she just she just read it all from? <laughs> was she still on the phone when that was happening? No, she wanted. She she was just looking at her phone. Was the message on your phone? No, he called it into me. They're saying that you were reading off your. First of all, why would you even take a credit card that's physically not there? 
She just said no. She read it over the phone, and then, and then the cop said, "Huh?" Because he was confused, and she was like, "No, no, no." She was looking into her phone. Either way, what's happening? Like, just what? Where's she at? Question for you: Did she show you the picture of the card, or did she just she just read it all she from? Was from was she still on the phone when that was happening? Was the message on your phone? No, he called it into me. They're saying that you were reading off your phone, so. Yeah, can you see the text? Wasn't the phone? 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 Wasn't then they they gotta have better. Come on now, y'all need better security systems or something. Name in the spot. I'm about to send all the homies up in there. What I told you, the average American check they for, I said five, but then I then I went back and said nah, two to three minutes. Come on now, you're not getting away with that. Nine twenty twenty four, hell no. We looking at our phones all the time because of people like you. You know you lying when you keep saying that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, you know your shorty catch you doing something. First thing you can say is, that that's crazy. Yeah, you did that shit. Oh. This is crazy. Where's your car at? You said you came in the Uber? Yeah, well, I came through the Uber, but my car That's crazy, though. How does that happen? I don't know, but... She said I came through a uh, Uber, but my car is here? Huh? Let's go get your ID. I mean, uh, if you're claiming that, yeah, and whatever, so you could, I'll have you write a statement. Yeah, thank you. But do you know how your husband got that card no, then? Babe, like, I don't, I'm about to say, babe, because I'm so shocked. Cause literally, he just called me and he's like, babe, he's going to pay for me. I'm like, okay, no problem. Nah, then she said her husband. She should have said somebody. She should have said, nah, my homeboy. You know what I mean? My homegirl. She should have said, nah, some stranger. I was walking down the street. He said, yo, spy day on me. You give me $50 and I got you something. I don't know, but. That's not good. She not she not holding a good story. But my thing is, how is it saying why when it's it's this like they use that card? Like I don't understand. That part I don't understand. I'm like, I don't know. Me, I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. Um, I'm so shocked, sir. I I never had this happen before, so. <laughs> is this oh, your car? I know this is my brother's car. All right, what's your this first is name? Crazy. Jen Jennifer. This is crazy. Jen Smith is my last name. My car. Oh, this is crazy. Because I'll let you write a statement. So at least. I'm sorry. I said at least you'll write a statement and I'll see what's going on. But at the at the minimum, I got to do a report because realistically, you couldn't you you could have been going you could have been going to jail. You can sit in the front for me. Nah, she wouldn't have went to jail because at the end of the day, that's like I said, that's the spot. If she went over the phone and she's saying that they should have never even took that card. I feel like this is 100% the spot's fault. Y'all let me know because what if she didn't know? Come on. Like how you taking people credit card information and they not there?
I would sue the spa. Yeah. Oh, okay. What? She just said I got a New York license and a Florida license. First of all, that's illegal, my people. Let me tell you this right now. You're not supposed to carry two different state licenses. You cannot do that. Okay? Some states will take the ID, um, you know, your old ID. Some states won't. But I'm telling you right now, trash it, cut it up, do not keep it. I don't know about most states, but where I live, you know what I mean, they don't play that two different IDs, two different state shit. And I believe that's how it is everywhere, okay? You need two different, that just sound crazy. All right, is this Mr. Uh, Colt? Yeah. All right, this is Deputy Smith, the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Um, in yeah. reference to your card, you you physically have the card? Oh, that? Yeah, I said, do you physically have the credit card, sir? Yeah, yeah. All right, um, do you want to press charges? Um, sure, yeah. All right. Um, this is going to be recorded since you are, you're in East County, right? Or are you in uh, Florida? You say you want to press charges? Yeah, damn. What y'all would have done? Y'all would have pressed charges? Me, I wouldn't have. I would have took it up with the spa. I'm I'm sorry. Y'all probably think it's easy. You stupid. Nah, I don't want to see nobody in jail. Not for nothing like this. Not for nothing like that. Even though it is stupid. It is very dumb. But it's, nah. Jail ain't for people like that. You know, it's a little slap on the wrist. A fine. You feel me? But jail, nah. Or yeah. All right, so I'm going to let you know that I'm going to record this so okay. I could use this since there's no way for me to physically meet with you. Um, are you okay with me recording this conversation? Yeah. All right, explain to me what happened. Um, I, I really don't know. Just, my wife called me and told me that we had a... Uh, she asked me if I made a charge. That, that, uh... Oh, his wife got up in that ass. His wife was like, spa? Who you taking to the spa, Albert? He was like, hey, baby, I don't know. I don't know nobody. You're the only one I'm tricking on. I don't know. And I told her I didn't. And she called the credit card shop and he canceled the card. And then we called the nail salon company themselves to let them know that, you know, what happened. Okay. Now, see, that's what happened when you book a three-hour massage. They got, they got nothing but time on their hands to figure you out. Supposed to be in and out. She don't watch movies. Okay. Um, but me and my wife, we both have the credit card. It's the, it's the same number, her card and my card. Her card and your so, card. And then we both physically have our cards with us. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. No, that's fine. Just go ahead and turn around. Yeah, I gotta hands. go. I gotta yeah, get. You're going. Why? You're going because you. A, you lied to me. First off, so, stop. Sorry. Don't, don't fight. But I'm sorry. So I, I don't. I, I honestly I told don't you I'm care. Sorry. If you don't. What did she lie about? Fight. I honestly don't care if you're sorry or not, but here's the thing. They want to press charges. Well, and the they fact that you, Yeah, they want to press charges. Well, no, babe. I, I, I told them I did not take that from them. I did not take that from them, sir. I just got this from my boyfriend. I thought he was your husband. No, that is my husband. You went I'm from sorry. husband no, 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 to boyfriend. You gave me the wrong name. It's nothing to be, don't be sorry. Oh, she gave, that's what it was. See, she, she, mm -mm. You just own up to your stuff. The fact that you said they're from New York and you didn't have an ID and then I run you and then you have an ID in Florida. No, we're not playing these games. You See, I knew so it was up with that ID. It didn't sound right. You made stupid choices and you get stupid consequences. So that's what's happening. All right. Sorry. I'm on my pen. All right, there oh, we go. Yes, Do you have anything that will poke me, stick me, hurt me, or anything like that? No, I just have my phone. All right, so go ahead and turn around, face the flag, spread your feet. Am I able to, like, is there anything I can do? You can go to the jail and then you could figure it out from there. Hey. Listen, you play stupid game with stupid prizes. That was a very stupid, like, I, that was just dumb. Like, what not to do when committing a crime? 101. Hey, sir, I'm sorry. I'm going to apologize well, to me. I, I, did not, I didn't do anything. That's my thing. I'm like, I did not. It's like, I did not do that. When he gave me the car number, that's how I used it. 
my women, be careful for these scumbag men, man. Let's just say she didn't know and and the dude probably put the okie doke on her on some yeah, babe, I'ma take you out whole time. He a bum. Don't got no job. He out here stealing people money. Gotta watch out for those scumbags. Watch out. First of all, I wouldn't even do no shit like that. Like you if I'm if I'ma treat somebody I'm going to go with you. And yeah, I usually use, get, give you my card information. That shit sounds sus. Even on the spot end, I'm mad with them. You can call her here? Yeah. Can I call her? You can call her at the jail. They'll let you get the numbers out of your phone. I will let you know at the jail. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's bond is. Hey, Yo, this cop had no patience. I, w cop. He was like, listen, you lied to me the first time. I don't want to hear nothing else. I don't want to hear the excuses. I don't want to hear it. Can you walk me through what happened, though? Because I know you're about to write it down, but I'm about to take it to jail, so... I can get that later, but as long as I have a verbal of what happened, I'll be fine. Okay. So. so she came in. Uh huh. Um, she wanted to book a pedicure, and then before she um, wanted to do her pedicure, she wanted to buy a gift card. So um, a card number verbally. I already put the gift card numbers in there. And then before she um, wanted to do her pedicure, she wanted to buy a gift card. So. Um, gift card right there, scam. And the fact that they let her use a gift, purchase a gift card with a credit card that wasn't physically there, why are we not holding them, like, holding them accountable, bro? Like, um, Alyssa took the gift card, put the gift card numbers in there. She said, I don't have my card on me. Is it okay if I just give you um, the card number allowed? And we're like, yeah, that's fine. So she gave us the card number verbally. We typed it in. Um, it declined the first two times, and then on the third time it went through. Um, I think she. Now her pieces wasn't hit. I want to say it was maybe a different number that Alyssa said that she gave her the third time, and then that one went through, and then she went back for the pedicure, and then about five minutes after she went back there, I had two calls from a couple. It was a man and a woman. And um, they said that it was a fraudulent charge, and they just wanted to let me know um, for the business. Perfect. Thank you. The suspect was taken down to the local jail and was given a free inmate uniform to wear. She was hit with fraud charges. She was given two days in jail and probation. We're sure that's enough punishment to prevent her from committing another crime ever again. But let us know what you think. I just read the numbers aloud. I think she was dumb as hell. Drop a comment. Tell me what you think.